Kenna Middle School in Evansville will soon have a new face roaming the halls, different than any student or faculty member this school has ever seen. Our Rock County reporter Adam Duxter joins us from our bureau in Rock County at the Janesville Gazette with how a lifelong friendship led to this happening. Adam? Well, Eric, this new student is the result of a new idea by a student, for a student, inspired by the efforts to bring a friend to school when they're missed the most. In Evansville, the halls of J.C. McKenna Middle School have been home to learning and friendship for decades. Few students love them more than Matthew Winter. He loved to make everybody laugh. He was always happy. Until Matthew was diagnosed with bone cancer, taking him from these halls to the hospital. We spent almost every other week at uh, UW Children's Hospital in Madison. So he missed his friends, he missed his classes. Even with Matthew not at school, his classmates were with him through his fight, organizing a whiteout to raise money for his family. Eventually, Matthew beat cancer. Everyone rallied around him. It was, it was fantastic. But a year later, it came back, a second time, worse. Four months later, Matthew passed away. But Matthew never left his friends' hearts, who wish more than anything that during his fight, he still could have been at school. One friend in particular saw how a portable robot at his dad's office could have made a difference. And said, you know, Matt hadn't been in school for the last year. You know, if he had this, you know, he could have been in school. And it's just like, yeah. Ellsworth's dad is the CEO at N1C Technologies in Janesville. When he heard his son's words, he knew he had to donate the tool, which has a two-way monitor that allows students to see and be seen in a wheel they can control to take them around the building. So in the future, kids who are homebound won't miss out on learning or being with their friends. To know that something like this is, is going to be able to be, to be utilized and, and that it will make such a difference for another child is, is amazing. The robot donated yesterday, named after Matthew, to keep his spirit alive at J.C. McKenna forever. Now, I spoke with the principal at J.C. McKenna Middle School who says she already has a student in mind that's homebound that could benefit from having access to this robot. And she said something even as small as coming in for a virtual lunch could make a huge difference for the student. Adam Duxer in Rock County tonight. Adam, thank you.